Hey everybody, welcome to the lion's den. So I had time and I didn't know what I should do a reading on today. And then I sat there and for whatever reason, Nicki Minaj kind of came into my mind. And I guess because of all of the drama and things that's going on with her um, in social media and her, um, and her boyfriend that's, you know, him and his sexual assault charges assault charges and what and whatnot and um even with her having a habit of sort of surrounding herself with sexual predators um i was like okay let me just let me just do a reading on her um i decided i'm gonna do a personality reading on Nicki minaj um also um, I'm going to do a guide reading and just see what the um, spirits are asking her to come to them about um, and just do a regular tarot reading on her. All right, so let's get started with her personality reading first and see what type of personality she has. Or I guess what type of even personality she's been displaying recently. Let's see. A lot of negative cards. I'm not surprised she got that card at all. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that and start from the beginning. Okay. She has the martyr card in reverse. So this talks about addiction to self-pity. Wow. Yeah. That is something I did notice that she does have. She, okay, so she had the um, spirit is talking about her having an addiction to self-pity. Um, also, she has the artist card and the shadow aspect of it saying using talent as an excuse to mistreat others poor, uh, or posing as a starving artist to elicit pity. Again, pity seems to be sort of a, co uh, a common trait here so far. She has pioneer, the pioneer card in reverse. And it says uh, compulsive need to keep moving on. And I feel like that speaks more of... Um, a need to con to 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 continue on um, with her career despite troubles that she's going through and never stopping to rectify to finish or um, to correct any of the issues that she has, but instead just trying to literally push and plow her way through um, these situations. She has the servant card in the upright card in. Um, in upright position. And it says delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. So it does talk about her being kind in a sense of giving and helping other people and not really um, doing too much or probably even expecting too much in return. Um, but we also have child magical in the um, shadow aspect that says, pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles, believing that energy and action are not required for growth. Mm. We have mentor in the upright position talking about passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So there may be somebody that she may have under her wing that she is teaching a few things um, when it comes to rap or when it comes to business um, that she's actually doing a good job at. We also have King in the la in, in the um, upright position. I'm not surprised that she got the King card. Um, it says enlightened and benevolent leadership benefiting though... Uh, uh, benefiting those in your charge, okay? I think I've heard Nicki Minaj possibly refer to herself as a king before. Um, we have the mother card. Now, this is in the shadow aspect, and the mother card is smothering or abandoning children, um, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. And I feel like um, this 
I'm not going to go into details of where I think this is from, to be honest, because my channel is actually not really dealing too much with American celebrities, more so of K-pop and Korean celebrities. Um, so I actually don't really want to, I'm not going to go too, too deep into that. Um, but yeah, I can see where this is coming from. Um, I feel like that Nikki does have maybe a habit of sort of blaming younger children for things that may have happened to them, not younger teenagers and things like that. I, I wouldn't be surprised if she has if she has that type of personality trait. All right, let's move on. Okay, so the next Oracle cards I'm gonna pull for her are advice from her guides. I'm gonna shuffle these and see what type what are the things that her guides are asking her? Uh, guides or ancestors are asking her to come to them about. Okay. Okay, what are... I'm going to let these fall out. What does Nikki's guides have to add, want her to come to them about? Okay. One card. Okay. Two card. Three, four. Any more? Anything else that you want to say? Five. I think, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know how many cards that was that fell out for her, but <sighs> start from the bottom. Invention, creativity. So it uh, looks like her guides want her to come to them about being able to find a different spark of creativity, a different route to go on, maybe a different theme for her music. Um, the guides are saying her guides um, and the spirits around her are telling her that she needs to come back to them and ask for advice or let them move in, within her and work within her for that. Um, the next card that came out was uh, Grace. Um, she's not carrying herself gracefully in the public eye and, and not in the, the eye of spirit as well. And spirit is saying, come again, come back to us. We will teach you how to walk with grace, how to um, handle yourself in the public eye. Just so you can see this um, card, because I know my lighting is very bad, but. The next card is leadership. Okay, so again, the gods are saying that she needs to come to them on how to move forward and how to grow her career, grow her brand, um, to reach a higher level than she is now because currently she may not be going very far, um, especially with the way that she's been kind of acting. Um, the next card that comes out is discipline. Uh, discipline comes out uh, to me saying that she needs to come to spirit and learn how to just literally be a disciplined person and to grow and to be able to uh, understand the things that are going on around her, why it's happening, learn, educate herself on everything and literally train herself not to do the same things that she's been doing and not to make the same mistakes. Last card is psychic awareness. They want her to be more aware of their presence. Nicki Minaj is someone who I believe is into uh, a lot of spiritual things possibly, but um, there are still a lot of things that she is not aware of because psychic awareness comes out. She needs to be more aware of the spirits around her and the words that they're trying to tell her, the gifts that they're trying to give her, the lessons that they're trying to teach her. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so moving on to the tarot. I haven't brought this deck out in a long time. Okay. Deviant Moon Tarot. 
How was Nicki Minaj feeling about her and her uh, her boyfriend and the issues of facing the public with him? I knew this. I was actually, before I picked out this deck, this is the card that I was uh, thinking of. I had my other deck here. Um, this is the deck, the Wild Unknown Tarot deck that I was going to use, but this deck kept calling to me and I and because I kept picturing this card and I knew this card was going to come out and it did. Well, anyway, let's go on about how she feels about the public and her relationship. Okay, so... Um, I mean, it's basically exactly what we're seeing um, already. Um, basically, she has begun to sort of lash out on the public. She has begun to just kind of combat everyone um, about her man, um, who I believe is appearing as the Page of Swords. Um, even the Page of Swords can even be talking about Nicki Minaj and her very childish use of her words. Um, the way she just she's just very reckless and it's like um she's trying to protect her her her, her money her stand her um career and it's it's not really working it's kind of something that's backfiring but she believes that it's working she believes that everything is going to sort of kind of get better she has pure faith in herself um, she may be um, going to travel to get away from all of the drama, like probably fly overseas or, or something like that, or just go on a little vacation because she's kind of through with it. It's like she's lashing out, but she's over it. She She's completely over it. Um, not in a sense of um, she doesn't, quote unquote, doesn't care what the public thinks, but more over it as in she's over everyone else being dramatic about her situation. Okay. And let me see if I can pull anything about her man who I, I forgot his name. I already know. I think it's something petty. Um, uh, about petty. I should have done a personality reading on him, but um, let me see. What type of, no. How was Petty feeling in all of this? I'm getting all pages and nights. Okay, so I feel like um, he feels almost as if he's walking on eggshells. I feel like, well, literally on thin ice. If you look at this card, the most he this is ridiculous okay but um i feel like he's just kind of very concerned about what he says and what he um his past messing with her career i also feel like he's he's also kind of upset and defensive over himself um but at the same time it's like the knight of pentacles is kind of telling me that he's possibly prone to doing He's prone to his previous bad habits. Like he's possibly prone to continuing. I mean, honestly, someone who has assaulted somebody is more than likely going to do the same thing again. And I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is kind of talking about he has a problem with kind of circling back and doing the same things that he's already done, not learning lessons, um, sticking to what he knows. So that may be a problem here. I see the sun card that comes after this. I'm um, talking about that he's probably going to be afraid of more things coming to light or um, maybe he's done something recently um, or past that event that will come to light eventually. Uh, so be on the lookout to that. There may be some more um, stuff that may come out about Petty. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use a different deck to check on Nicki Minaj's mentality right now. Okay. 
Um, does Nikki feel like this relationship was worth it? Dang, no. Hmm. Okay, it's very funny to me that we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. The uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the Ten of Cups, the uh, Ten of Coins, and then the um, Mother of Wands. I'm sorry, I thought these were in reverse. No, they are. Let me just make sure because... Some decks put um, everything on the top and some put them at the bottom. Okay, so they're upright. She thinks that um, her, then then in this case, she actually thinks that everything is perfectly fine. She's in love. Ten of Cups is saying she's absolutely in love. Ten of Pentacles is saying she thinks that her life is fulfilled even financially somehow, but she feels like she's stabilized with him. She's in love with him. Um, Mother of Wands is kind of talking about like she... She loved it, man. I mean, she feels like she feels like she's in a great relationship. She feels like she can possibly even start a family with this man. She's 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 not having any regrets. If this was in reverse, then okay, yeah. Then yes, she would, but it's actually upright. So she's she's pretty straight. She's I don't think anybody's going to be able to tell her nothing when it comes to him. I don't think we're going to be able to tell her nothing. Okay. And I think, oh, how does, how does uh Petty feel about Nicki Minaj? Mm. Ten of wands. Ooh. Daughter of wands. Let me get my little book to read on the daughter of wands. But um, I'm not feeling like he he's too happy about it, honestly. I don't feel like he has the same um, feelings as she does on the situation. Because, see, the hair font is there. And the hair font, um, mm. yeah, he's worried about, I feel like he's definitely worried about, um, um, the issue that he had with him going to jail. I also feel like he's very um, caught up in maybe there's some strict rulings going on with him dating her and kind of like it being hard for him to move about um, and do what he wants, especially because now that the public eye is on him. Also, the Ten of Wands is talking about um, everything being a burden. Like this is it's it's too much going on. He does not feel like carrying the responsibility that Nikki has with um with being an artist and being in business. He doesn't feel like dealing with all of that going on. So he's not really too, he's not really too happy about that, but he is very passionate about their relationship. So he's going to try his best. Although right now he's kind of very overwhelmed. Um, he's trying to get accustomed to the new rules, the new um, life that he's supposed to go by, you know, kind of get accustomed to. Um, but that's about it for how he's feeling. Anyway, guys, this was just like a little sort of boredom reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, well, let me know if you want, if there's anything else that you guys want me to read on, if there's any other topics that you want me to read on, fill me in on more information with Nicki Minaj and um, uh, Pete, Pete Petty, because I, I don't know anything about it, not much at all. So, you know, all right, until next time, thanks for stopping by uh, at the Lion's Den, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.